What's going on, ESGN Nation? And welcome back to another episode here on ESGN LP. We're back here for NCAA Football 14, and this is the Stanford Cardinals Online Dynasty, episode 65. And today we are here for the big Pac-12 championship game. Of course, we talked about it in the um, ep previous episode, in the preview of this. And of course, USC is ranked number six in the nation as they are going to be facing us here in San Diego. Lovely, sunny San Diego as they are 11-1 for the season and 8-0 in Pac-12 play this year. And we did not play them at all. And we have not played them for quite some time now. It's been at least uh, two seasons, maybe, uh, since we've seen them on our schedule. And I believe next season we'll have them in our schedule as they rotates. I think it's every two years or every other year or something like that. I forgot what it is uh, for Pac-12, how they do their rotation. But there you see uh, the, some of the numbers there for, uh, of course, they did a great job here this season. Only losing one game. Uh, in the regular season, but for the most part here, playing some really good football, and they are going to be a tough team to deal with. Of course, we have to keep our minds set here. We can't think ahead as the national championship is just coming up here in a few weeks. And, of course, there you see Texas A&M ranked number two in the nation. T Taylor ranked number three in the nation with Air Force. And, of course, Steve with the Level 8 Lions ranked at number four. So, of course, like I said, we got to keep our minds set for this game here. We're hoping to come out here and play. And, of course, the guy that we're trying to help out and try to make some things go for him as he has kind of fell down some in that hunt for the Heisman Trophy. And that is our uh, DeAndre Mark there. And uh, he's had a great season here. Uh, and we're hoping that we'll continue on, especially in this game, if we can try to get him a couple of uh, rushing touchdowns and, of course, a couple of receptions and really, really just blow the wall, blow this, uh, this chance of – of him uh, getting, or not blow it, but I mean, blow the rest of the competition out of the water. That's what I'm trying to, trying to say here. Uh, if we can get some reception yards for him also this game. But we know USC is going to keep it close. I see that they got a lot of 90-plus uh, players on both offense and defense. Right now you see a lot, well, a little bit of both, really. Uh, both uh, linebackers. Of course, if you know, <laughs> if you remember a couple seasons ago, we played against USC, and they had some super linebackers. I call them Kryptonians because they have <laughs> they play like uh, like they jump out of nowhere like they're Superman. They can jump up, you know, sh straight up in the air, you know, and jump up like 20 feet in the air just to get a freaking football. So it's re yeah, it's ridiculous. But nonetheless, um, you know, that's that's just how the game is sometimes. But they got some really good uh, kick or a really good defensive team uh, with their linebackers and whatnot. And, so that's going to be a really uh, challenge for us uh, if we're going to win this game. As you see, Zach Melton, of course, one of our star players on defense, runs this one out there just near the 15-yard line. We'll go first and 10 here. We'll, of course, get the ball first here as Walker going to run this one here. And we're about just about possibly two weeks away of possibly seeing a return from Graham. Hopefully he can come back and show up in the – uh, national championship game. If not, Brandon Walker, of course, will take over. And of course, we have Mark in the back backfield there, along with Hell. Uh, Terrell Hell, you see there, he runs one yard there for a first. So, so far, it's been looking really good for us this season. And we see a hand, or no, a play action here from James. James tosses that one up there, but it's going to be an incomplete pass to Mark as he's unable to connect there on that play. So this should be, at least a lot of people are predicting, this should be a pretty much a heavyweight fight here. And uh, it's basically whoever has ball, uh, whoever has had the possession of the ball last will pretty much win this ball game. As you see Joel James there trying to throw this one. 40 touchdowns for him, over 3,000 yards passing. And, of course, he has, uh, of course, double-digit uh, interceptions this season as a uh, I believe he has somewhere around 22 or 21 interceptions this season. As you see, DeAndre Mark gets a great catch there, and he is going to catch that one as he's inside the 40 there in Trojan territory. As he makes a nice pass, or James makes a nice pass there to uh, Mark. And, of course, Mark just mowing down people in front of him. And, of course, USC knows that's our bread and butter. 
along with our running game, they know that the go-to guy, if it, when it comes down to uh, you know some crunch, a clutch, a clutch situation or a crunch situation, it's going to come down to him making those passes. And of course, the, all the buzz is about this young man is he could possibly go in the uh, NFL next season. As we'll see a third and three here, you'll see James drops back here in this play action, tosses one up to DeAndre Mark again, and Mark gets this one as he gets pushed out of bounds. And he gets a gain of 13 on the play. Nice job there from DeAndre Mark as he is showing off what he can do as one of the top tight ends in the NCAA this season. First and 10 here for James as James drops back here quickly there to Williams. And that one's going to go to Clint Williams. Great touchdown there. That is touchdown number one here today. And touchdown number, uh, I believe that is touchdown number. What is that? Touchdown number. Uh, I had it marked down. <laughs> uh, I believe that is uh, Williams' fourth or fifth touchdown of the season here. On oh, a nice pass there. So you see a great run there. Oh, my goodness. Where did that run come from? Uh, actually, it's Williams' ninth touchdown uh, of the season. Uh, as we see a great run as we go back to action here. Uh, a great run there from, of all people, a halfback by the name of Michael Jordan <laughs> for USC. What a name. Great job there, computer, for just randomly picking a name. <laughs> So we'll see if we have, he looks like he's going to be a person that we're definitely going to have to watch out for. As we see Marshall gets a catch there. That's going to be a 11-yard reception for Jason Marshall. As that is going to be his first catch of the day. Puts now USC in the red zone. As we'll see Spencer here, of course, he is going to try and get for the Heisman. As he's trying to make a good mark here for himself in this one. As he needs several passing yards and touchdowns to try to make his last attempt here to try to get in that Heisman Trophy race. Spencer drops back here, third and 13. Drops back here, throws this one there, and no one's going to be there. As that's going to be an incomplete pass. And it's going to make it now a fourth and 13. Of course, USC is going to go for it. Number six in the nation. Spencer drops back in the pocket. Good, good, great clean pocket there. Throws this one there quickly, but it's going to be batted away from Jeremy Moore. One of our free, uh, one of our safeties out there, does a great ja job of getting his hands in there, bats this ball away, and forces a turnover on downs on USC. So USC puts us underneath our shadow of our own goal pullers, which is fine. Uh, we're on the 20-yard line, so it's not bad. But defense did a great job there of uh, stopping that play. Now first and 10, play action here for James. James running out the outside there. That's going to be tossed up to Mark, of course, again there. Keeping his legs moving there. He's going to be put down there at the 40, still in Cardinals territory. So we go now first and 10 here. Just 38 seconds left here in the first quarter. As we try to go up for two scores here, as James drives back in the play action, throws up the middle there to Bar Barber. And Barber gets a great catch there, holding on to it. I wasn't for sure he's going to keep that one there, but he does. And that's a 15-yard penalty, or a 15-yard uh, catch there. No penalties, but a 15-yard catch for a first down. So now first and 10 here for James and the Cardinals. 20 seconds left here in the first quarter. And so far looking really good here on this drive. We'll see Green in motion, and we'll see a handoff there to Walker. And, oh, the the running play just blows up there in the backfield as Tyler Cooley gets the stop there on attack for loss there. Great job there from the defense penetrating that offensive line, which has been very questionable here. And as we all know this season, we go now to a second and 13 handoff to Walker. Walker's going to run this one here. Walker gets a great block on the outside. Walker getting inside the 30, and that's a great 22-yard rush from Brandon Walker. As he is showing off the wheels that he has this season, putting his head down and just doing what he is doing best. And we've seen that two seasons ago. And last year, he kind of faded away there as Graham took over that spot. Now, since Graham's been injured, we start seeing that magic again from Walker as he runs on the outside there, runs this one there, and that is going to be a nine-yard carry just short of the first down. 
Go now to a second and one here for the Cardinals. As James here doing a great job here, taking his time, pacing himself. James here looks back here, fires as he gets hit as he throws. And that's an eight-yard reception for Andrew Barber as he gets another first down and helps move the chains once again for the Cardinals. Cardinals now here inside the 10 as they go first and 10 here in the red zone. James calling an audible here. He doesn't like what he sees from the defense. R rolling out to the right-hand side. Throws this one up there. That's going to be tipped away. Almost caught. The thing good is that uh, linebacker did not have any hands. And now we go to a second and 10 now here for the Stanford Cardinals. As Barber's going to be in motion here. He's going to move from the right to your left side of your screen. And it looks like maybe we could see uh, probably DeAndre Mark in this situation. Usually when you see that, yeah, are going to go to him and no, James go ahead and runs this one for one yard. And it's going to make it now a third and nine. So they know, USC knows now this is going to be a pass situation. It's Mark, or I should say uh, James, try to use his own wheels there to get to the first. As Williams now in motion here. Clint Williams going to your left-hand side there, or your right-hand side there, going from left to right. We'll see there a quick pass there to Mark, and Mark gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals, as that is touchdown number one for him today. And I believe that'll be touchdown number. Uh, that is touchdown. <laughs> Doing a horrible job here today. That is touchdown number 29 for him this season. As we'll see now, USC on the field here. Going down the field here. And they make a good reception. And that's another first down there. Nice pass there from Spencer. Well, like I said again, he I believe he is number five, either four or five in the Heisman Trophy race. Uh, he's not one of the top guys are right now. Uh, he may not have a chance to win this one. McLaren was going to come out of the backfield. And he makes a run there. Of course, Texas Texas A&M's uh, quarterback is up for the Heisman, along with Steve's halfback, and along also with the favorite being Air Force's uh, halfback that Taylor has. And we'll see Marshall here gets a great catch there. Jew trying to bring him down, but Milton will finally bring him down, drag him down to be exact. And that's a gain of 24 on the play. Stanford leads it still 20, uh, still 14 to uh, nothing. First and 10 here, Spencer drops back, throws a quick pass there to Carey, and Carey gets the catch on the reception, and that'll be a third, no, second and five, as he gets five on the catch. His first reception here today. Move on now to see Spencer here, throw a hand as well to McLaren. McLaren trying to get down to the first down marker, but he's gonna be shoved back, and only get four on the play, as it's gonna be a crucial third down. Third and one here for USC. With 2.30 left here in the first half, McLaren's going to come out of the backfield there, but Harris is going to find him and is going to finally bring him down. Now, we'll see what USC is going to do here. This time, they're going to be smart and try to go kick for some, try to put some points on the board, or they're going to go for it again. And this time, it looks like this, they learned their lesson from last time. They got to put points on the board here as they're down by two scores. We'll see a kick is up, and the kick is good. And you really can't get mad at USC. Trying to, uh, you know, show that they have uh, some tics, some tixilular forward to early in the game, but they got to put up points now. As uh, regardless, three points or six, regardless, you got to put up points here in the situation. You're already down by two scores. We'll see first and ten from Walker as he runs this one, gets a gain of six on the play, and that's going to help him out quite a, uh, pretty much there. As in pretty much now they can call it whatever they want here in this second and four. So second and four now here for the Cardinals. As James is under center eye formation here. We'll see probably another running play here from Walker. As Walker gets a great great blocking in the back. But uh, out of the uh, backfield or coming out of the backfield there. But wait a minute, there is a flag in the play. You know, there was a play in the backfield. And it's going to be clipping. <coughs> and that's from the fullback of J.J. Green called on that play and it's going to be now a second and 11 so not what you want to see there on a good running play from your half back here so now mark is going to be in the backfield now here second and 11 here we'll see what the big man can do as the big tight end gets this one and of course 
USC is going to call a quick timeout now, trying to conserve some time as there's a minute 28 left here in this first half. Third and eight now coming up here for you uh, for the Stanford Cardinals. As it's a raucous house here in San Diego, pretty much mostly uh, Stanford fans here as they are number one team in the nation. James throws a quick pass there, one handed there for Mark. And DeAndre Mark showing off what he can do like he's been doing that all season long. That's a first and 10 for Stanford. Eight first downs for Stanford, five for USC. As we get another first and 10, and Mark is going to be stopped there as he gets a loss of a yard there. I almost say he just got back to the line of scrimmage on that play. But we'll call a timeout. It's now first and, or excuse me, second and 11. 107 left here in the first half. As we'll see, James tosses this one up to Mark, and Mark gets another great catch for a first down. First and 10 for the uh, Cardinals. As they have now, they have a uh, nice lead, comfortable lead here, but they, of course, would like to increase it here with a minute two left. Minute two left here, first and 10. We'll see James here scrambled around here, looking down the field here, trying to throw a deep pass there. That one goes up, and Oliver of USC will pick it off. They're inside the five. The ball's dropped, and Oliver gets back up, snags it, and gets the ball, advances the ball another yard there. As that's somewhere near, I would say, probably around the five or six yard, five and a half, six yard line there. And that was a great snag there. I don't know if that ball was underthrown or what the deal was, but that was for Barber. And for whatever reason, at EA Cheese, that they won't let you have persons closest to it, even though, you know, the guy that intercepted the ball went down first and he pops up first. It's like, okay. But, uh, yeah, so they now get the ball here underneath their own shadow of their own goal post here as they're in the or inside the 20 here. Second and four, 28 seconds left here in the first half. We'll see what Spencer's going to do here as he calls an audible. And we'll see him you know, just take his time here. They're looking for that one play, that one shot to get down the field here. We'll see if they're going to do, do that here. The play clock's running down to five. They gotta snap the ball here. They gotta wait. Spencer drops back here, scrambles off to the right hand side, scrambles again, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, and finally Moore is brought down. And with two seconds left here, USC is going to not call a timeout where they have two or left remaining. And that is how the first half is going to end. 14 to 3 as we go into halftime here at this Pac 12 championship game here in San Diego. And so far, the fans of the Stanford Cardinals are liking what they're seeing, and their ticket to the national championship could be punched in here if they can finish this game off. So number one in the nation, looking to go number one in the nation again after this week and try to go for the national championship against, hopefully, Texas uh, A&M. I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to the... Uh, the ticker down below if, if uh, oh, okay, there you go. There you see. Uh, Texas A&M win their game 41-34, to 34, I believe, against Georgia. So, they got their ticket punched. 41-31 uh, th there. Oh, nice job. 10-point 10, uh, 10 lead there. So, they got their ticket punched. a and going to go to the National Championship. Now, the question is, can we do the same? So, let's go to the third quarter. As we take a look here and keep a track of the sports ticker there down below, you guys can see the other scores from the other uh, big games uh, are going on right now. Uh, or they're just finished up not too long ago in NCAA. Those so far are the only two games Ball State and uh, Miami, Ohio. Uh, Florida State right now has a lead over there against Miami. They're in the ACC championship game that broke. Oh, man, this. Uh, Ryan or Jason uh, there, Marshall just bouncing around on that uh, on that uh, avoid that tackle there as Zach Milton makes a nice stop there, makes it now second and ten and we go now to a third and eleven for USC as they are trying their best here to go no huddle in some ways, uh, trying to uh, trying to speed up this offense of their own as this one goes deep that one gets battered around but no one can get to it. 
And a great stop there from the defense. And of course, USC is forced to punt the ball. We go now, get here with the ball their own 20-yard line. James here drops back in the pocket here, scrambling around here, and gets hit as he throws. And that's going to be a complete pass as he's already thrown two touchdowns here. And, of course, one interception towards the end of the first half there in this one. Second and ten, James drops back in the pocket, looks, fires this one there quickly to Mark. And Mark cannot hold on to it. And it's going to be an incomplete pass as the ball and the defender meet at the same time, stopping Mark from going anywhere. So now third and ten coming up now for the Cardinals as there's three wide. And, of course, two backs there. We'll see what James is going to do as he drives back deep in the pocket there, scrambling, gets hit, and he went back too far. 12-yard loss there. That's going to force the uh, Cardinals now to punt as they get uh, – USC gets a good punt uh, return here. And we'll see Harris tries to stop McLaren there in the backfield, but he gets the gain of 12 on that play as USC could be – Knocking on door here to potentially score. I believe there's five wide now for USC. As Spencer's going to drop back, throw a screen pass there to Marshall. Marshall breaks a tackle. Marshall getting around and gets finally gets pushed out near the 25-yard line for the uh, second and seven. So now second and seven coming up here. Defense trying to play strong here for the Stanford Cardinals against this uh, USC offense. Of course, this USC offense, if you looked at the beginning of the video, they scored quite a few points here this season. So they're going to be a tough task. So, so far, they've been pretty good here, but they're going to be even tougher now in the second half. 340 left here in the third quarter. Hand this one off to McLaren. McLaren's going to come out of the backfield, and he's going to get a couple yards there just shy of the first down. Third and inches coming out now here for USC. As we'll see Spencer now hands off to McLaren again. McLaren run this one there. He gets into the end zone. Five-yard carry. Touchdown, USC. And it's now going to be a four-point ball game here with 2.44 left here in the third quarter. As you take a look at the replay there, the young man gets into the, into the end zone. And as you see, first and 10 here for the Stanford Cardinals as James is in the backfield here. James, got, of course, got to do a better job here going down the field and not try to drop back too far like he did on that play right there as he gets hit as he throws. Thank goodness. No sack, but yet we've still got to advance the ball here through the air. Second and 10. We'll see now play action here. James drops back in the pocket, throws this one up there to Mark. Mark gets the catch, and that is a first down as they have now, I believe, crossed the 50 now in USC territory. So the ball is now near the 48-yard line here. First and 10 for Stanford. As Walker gets a hand, hand uh, get the handle of the ball, and he's going to run this one for six, making it now second and four in the ball game. So second and four, and we'll see what Mark can do here as he's in the backfield. They've called now him the call, having him come in the backfield. He's going to run this one. He is he's going to get the first, and it makes it now a first and ten for the Stanford Cardinals. Minute 40 left here in the third quarter, trying to see if we can score here. We have USC, you are, I should say Stanford has not scored yet here in this first or in the second half. Walker here trying to run this one there, and Walker will get two yards if that. As he goes now to a second and eight. <coughs> second and eight coming up now for the Stanford Cardinals. As Barber's on the far right hand side there, and James here calling an audible. Sears is in the game there. And we'll see if he'll throw the Sears, and he does so. Sears gets the first down a little bit more as he gets 14 on the carry. Rodney Sears, of course, one of our guys that we're looking forward to seeing next season. He's played very well here in the second half as we've been moving uh, Mark around on that offensive floor, uh, from between the uh, tight end position and the halfback and even fullback position at times. Williams now in motion. We'll see Clint Williams there going from the left to the right side of your screen. And we'll see a play clock run down to one. Play action here from James. James looks, there's fires that one to Green. The fullback gets the catch. His first catch of the day, two yards. And it puts it now a second and eight. Fourth down or fourth quarter now start here for second and eight for the US for the Stanford Cardinals is trying to get this out. And we'll see Williams gets a quick catch there for on that slant pass there for a gain of eight. Moving a new set of downs here and move the chains for. 
the Stanford Cardinals. There's James, uh, there you see 189 yards, two touchdowns, of course, one interception. We'll see now for a new set of downs here. First and goal, James drops back in the pocket, scrambling around here, throws it off his back foot there, gets that one to Mark, and Mark gets four yards on that reception as uh, James was pretty much being hounded by that defensive lineman, uh, or linebacker, I should say, on that play. Very scary there that time, that play, as we'll see now. Third and goal coming up. Five seconds left on the play clock. We'll see that one on there. And that's going to be in the end zone. Touchdown, DeAndre Mark. As he gets his second passing touchdown in today's game. And that is touchdown number 30 for him. As he gets another one there. Nice job there from our back. Uh, or from our tight end, I should say. As he's, of course, been playing pretty well there as in the backfield there also for us here in the last uh, four or five games. As we'll see, uh, Spencer now here, he is scrambling around as he's trying to find somebody to throw to there, but he is going to be sacked. Great job there from Mann. Picks up his first sack of the day, and that is going to be a huge play there from the defense as they are really doing a great job here controlling where Spencer can throw. As we'll go to a third and 18 here, Spencer drops back in the pocket here. Spencer comes up in the pocket, looking down the field, throws this one up here, trying to look for somebody, but nobody there but, but maroon jerseys. The Cardinals are right there, and they did a great job there stopping. Even though they couldn't get the ball, they forced a uh, punt here. So now first and 10 here as we get the ball after the punt. Walker running out of the backfield there, shoving down a guy. Trying to stiff arm him there. As he gets a gain of five, he has five or nine carries for 55 yards. Got to try to see if we can get him in the end zone here today. Third and three coming up. Two, oh, uh, two minutes really left here in the fourth quarter. As we'll see, Hale here runs this one. 21 to 10 here in this ball game. USC is going to burn their first time out. As see Coach TJ Bonds knows he's getting close to winning his third Pac-12 championship here. First and 10, as we'll see there's two minutes left. And we'll see play action here from James. James looking down the field here. James scrambling around, calling his own number, and decides to slide, but wait a minute. This might be coming back. As it's clipping, and it's on the offense. So a good run like that it really hurts a the team. There hurts the momentum, and that came from Clint Williams. He should know better as our wide receiver gets caught there on that play. So now first and 15 here. And we got to try to get that yardage back here somehow, some way, and get, of course, more as we're on a good pace of getting back, getting into the end zone. Play action here for James. James throws this one up there. That's going to be caught by Mark. Mark gets the catch, and Mark gets 18 on the play. And another first, or another first down for Stanford, but another timeout, a second timeout now for USC. And they have one timeout remaining. Less than two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. 21 to 10. Hand off to Mark. Mark comes out the backfield there, and he's going to run this one. And they he makes USC use their last and final timeout here in this game. 21-10. Number six USC has looked like they could be going down here easily. As a minute 45 left here. Two, second and four. Hand this one off to Mark. Again, Mark's going to run this one, but he gets drilled as he only gets a gain of a yard. Go well, now to a third and ten, or excuse me, third and three coming up. As we're trying to convert for a new set of downs here. And we'll see here. No, they're going to pass this one there. And that's going to go to DeAndre Mark as he gets this one there. Gets around the defender. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown, DeAndre Mark. That is his third touchdown of the day. And that's a good one there. As it's now 28 to 10. Minute seven left here. Not much for USC to do here. Really can't get back in this one. They're going to try to see and at least show some respect here by playing the game all the way through as Moore gets a nice hit there on the halfback. Now they try to go five wide here. Of course, we'll probably see some cheese here. Third and six from Spencer. Spencer drops back here, heaves this one up there. That's going to be picked off by Zach Melton as he does a great job as he's been doing all season long. 
This kid's leading the interceptions right now in the NCAA. I believe he is somewhere around 10 or 11 for the season as he picks up an interception there. And that right there pretty much nails this coffin shut on USC. 45 seconds left here. We'll see what they're going to do here. Of course, they're going to run this one to keep the clock running as Walker is going to run this one on the left-hand side there. He's going to be brought down for a gain of seven. And that right there pretty much should be the ball game here with just 26 seconds left. Just run down the clock as much as they possibly can. Not going to go in victory formation as they want to keep positive yardage here for their team as pretty much USC cannot do anything to stop the clock and really for the most part here, this game is done. It is over with as USC is going to go home with no trophy. But Stanford is going to run one more play here and make sure that clock keeps running and go to triple zeros. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is our ball game as USC goes down and Stanford gets another Pac-12 championship for the third year in a row. Congratulations there to the Pac-12 champions, Stanford Cardinals, as they bring home and going to back home with the Stanford with another Pac-12 championship. Third one again for Coach T.J. Bonds. And now he has a chance now to go for back-to-back -back championships for the national championship here. This is amazing. Not as great as, not as a great run as his dad did, but nonetheless, he is just doing some good things with this club, this uh, this, uh, or this school, and this program. And things are starting going in the right direction for him. As you see, about to hoist up that trophy for the Pac-12. As he, like I said, what is his third one now in a row here. And a great job there. As you see, Stanford wins this one 28-10. Just overall, great game here. It was actually nice playing a game. A, a, game a conference game and not have to worry about too much here as uh, I mean for the most part I was looking at you know look at the numbers when it came to these two teams and you know for the most part I was thinking like you know USC we have not seen that much they've been playing really well against other teams and they only had one loss all season long and you know for us we haven't had that many I mean we I think we had maybe a couple maybe one or two games that came pretty close for us but we just haven't had that one that really got to us, like stuck us real good. And um, so I thought this was going to be it. But we did a great job there, kept the ball on the ground, really limited the passes, passing there to Joel James as he still has some issues there with the ball. Uh, Mark, of course, 11 of 177, three touchdowns for him. He had a great day. Of course, he is our player of the game, kind of like he has been for – many weeks for us in this series uh, for this season and continues doing so and we'll just see what he can do coming up here as we get ready for the national championship yes we're playing against texas a&m and these guys i'm telling you have been mur i mean literally murdering teams they have not they have scored more than 30 points a game in each game yeah, I think it was around 37, 38 points a game yeah, on average. We'll see in, here in a bit of the numbers uh, for that game or for their for their team so far this season as we take a look at some of the USC numbers there. But uh, we did a great job there. It's really stopping, uh, slowing down Spencer in that game too. Uh, I was really surprised because I was a little worried about him and uh, him, you know, uh, getting all these passing yards and, and whatnot because uh, he is one of those top five. Heisman Trophy uh, candidates uh, that could really do some damage to us and and, uh, and and really make our day really bad, especially on on uh, defense. And but you know, with the, I think with the defense we've had this year so far, I think it's been really good, successful, and uh, honestly, it's just been nice to um, you know do what we did, you know, do what we've been doing with that defense. And I'm really hoping our defense will start coming alive. Uh, really come alive during the national championship game. I think it's going to be really important and crucial for us to have uh, guys like Melton, uh, Moore, uh, even, uh, even our linebackers who've been uh, really great. Especially, I, I'm really hoping that Mosley will definitely show up. You know, he's been uh, he's been a guy that 
it's been really quiet and really kind of coy, uh, or, or kind of, um, not coy, uh, the right word I'm looking for is Timish a little bit here, uh, quite a few games, we have not seen him have big numbers, but there you see, uh, like I said, mentioned there, Texas A&M, they, like I said, they've been doing a huge, huge number on a lot of teams, we'll just, we'll dive into that a little bit more coming up uh, in the uh, next episode, which will be the preview of the pack of the national championship game. There you see the games there. T- uh, Steve's going to be in the Rose Bowl against Georgia, uh, and then uh, Taylor's going to be in the uh, Fiesta Bowl against the USC of all teams that we just got done playing against. Uh, so those should be good games for them. And of course, like I said, AM uh, will be the first time we played against them here in this series. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually played against AM. Uh, of course, you know, they're in the U- U- uh, SEC and now longer in the Big 12, so I don't get to see them as much. But um, we'll see what we can do against them as both of those teams uh, play really good, uh, really good baseball. Or, excuse me, geez, <laughs> really good football. I don't know why I said baseball. I've been playing that too often here lately. But anyway, that's another day for another video. But anyway. We'll get back into uh, the series here. We'll get uh, to the pre or we'll get to the uh, pregame or preview of this game of to A&M and Stanford coming up in the next episode. And then, of course, episode 67 will be the national championship. So stay tuned for that here on the channel. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Stanford Cardinals, Cardinals online and dynasty here on ESG and LP. Also, check us out on our main channel on ESG and as you guys can check out our other NCAA series that I've been having on there for quite a while now. It's called the Highland Scotty's Team Builder Series, and it has Coach TJ Bonds, or Coach uh, T- uh, Teddy Bonds, TJ Bonds' dad, I should say. Uh, his dad's the coach of the Highland Scotty's there, and definitely check that out. I think you guys will enjoy that series also. But that's it for me, and that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. Links down below in the description. Check us out there. Uh, trying to start a little community there on Discord. And uh, so, uh, you know, check us out there and just be a part of the nation there. Also, don't forget to uh, uh, stay safe, be careful, and uh, take, care of, take care of yourself and each other. And I will see you all next time. Go Cardinals!